For the HCO2 minus Lewis structure, we have a total of 18 valence electrons. Hydrogens always go on the outside on Lewis structures. Carbon is less electronegative than oxygen, so we'll put a carbon in the center, and then we'll put the oxygens on the carbon. We have a total of 18 valence electrons for the HCO2 minus Lewis structure. We'll put two between atoms to form chemical bonds. Then we'll go around the outside, so we've used two, four, six, eight, and eighteen. So at this point we've used all eighteen valence electrons. The oxygens have eight valence electrons, so their octets are full, and the hydrogen has two valence electrons, so it has a full outer shell as well. However, the carbon only has six, so we're going to have to share some electrons to get carbon to have an octet. Let's take these two valence electrons and move them to the center to form a double bond. So we're still using 18 valence electrons. The oxygen, it still has eight valence electrons, but now the carbon, it has eight valence electrons. So we've used all 18 valence electrons, and each of the atoms has its outer shell full. If we check the formal charges, we'll see that all the atoms have a formal charge of zero, except this oxygen right here. It has a formal charge of negative one. That makes sense, though, because we have a negative one up here, so it needs to match our Lewis structure for HCO2 minus. One last thing, since we do have an ion, we should put brackets around the structure and put a negative sign outside to show that it is an ion. So that's the Lewis structure for HCO2 minus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.